treating him or treating the Igbos like other parts of Nigeria. I don't know why in other parts of Nigeria has this Igbo phobia. The Igbo man is a person that can fit in any place. He's in every village in Nigeria. Any part of the world you will see him. He accommodates. He's hardworking. And he feels as every other person anywhere and does his own beat. I don't know why the, 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 the phobia. It is not right. And that is why we should start a new orientation in trying to make Nigerians Nigerians. I don't know why they remove history from the secondary school. I don't know why. But sir, do you feel like Igbos are not well treated? Yes, they are not. Yes, they are not. Igbos are not well treated. See, I don't need to start pinpointing one, two, three, four. Just give me one reason now that... Oh, it is true. See the election. Being an Igbo man, living in another place, you, are, you have some, some, some problem. You know, there is uh, that kind of, uh, you know, and somebody saying that an Igbo man cannot rule Nigeria. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an abomination. And you want him to, be, to feel like one of you. Let the best walk. That's all. Others, the houses have ruled. Uh, the Fulanese, the Yorubas, other tribes have ruled. But an Igbo man has not gotten into that place. Why? Is he incompetent? No. Is he not well educated? No. Is he not experienced? No. Why are you shortlisting him? You are not, you know, you are shortcharging him, sorry. Why? Will you feel happy if you are uh, 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 treated that way? Give everybody a chance and let's put this country. Country in Nigeria is so rich so endowed that we are not supposed to be having all these uh, you know shortcomings it's just because of shortage of the right leadership that's all so sir is it true that a nimble man cannot rule nigeria why not why can't he rule for me oh for me what is happening in river state shows that people will won that election so check check his his genesis for how many months and he was able to get six million something. And it was the river state that gave Tinubu that election. And see what is happening. Wike and the Fufubara had, you know, both of them have shown that they you know you know you know they shortcharged P2B. P2B should have won that election. And there have been a, a great generational and the you know eventual change of the Nigerian cause. The Africa is looking for Nigeria for leadership. And we are all not concerned about it. Well, with the block. Okay, sir, do you do you agree that if P2B were to be an Yoruba, that he would have won the election? Yes, he would have been like a, he did exactly the ideas of what our our did. Check what his all the things he did. It was that kind of mentality. He prepared for it. He didn't come to politics by, by uh, chance. He prepared many years for it and made provisions on how he's... He still works in strong. Which, which, who in Nigeria has a group loyal to him as the obedient? Tell me. Tell me. But sir, let's say now, if Ibos now come up for Nigeria, how do you think Nigeria will look like? Well, there's nothing very, very different about human beings. Human beings will make adjustment. They will make adjustment whether for good or for bad. But like if Igbo should leave now, do you think it will really affect Nigeria? Of course, it will affect Nigeria and it will also affect the Igbos. Because Igbos make their money from, from the different parts of Nigeria. There are businessmen everywhere. They make their money, it will affect them. And it will affect Nigeria also. But after some time, they will, every person will adjust. And that is human nature. We always try to adjust. It is not sacrosanct then. It must be this. Um, do you have anything to say concerning the detention of Mazin and the Kano? Well, 
That's why I'm talking about the rule of law. The court has discharged him two or three times. But the government don't, doesn't want to leave him. That is what I talk about the rule of law. If the government obeys the courts and release them as the court wished, that is the fundamental rule of law. But when the government disobeys the courts, which is the third realm of government, I don't know. That's why I told you that people who obey the rule of law as they wish or as it suits them. So was it, is it because of the rule of law and that's why they are still holding mass? Yes, the panel? rule oh. of law, the court, the third realm of the government has said, release him. Why are, not, why are you not releasing him? They released the uh, uh, Shawere and uh, all the rest, Ibuho. And, but why not release him? Do they see him as a threat? I don't know, but that's what people will think about. But I don't see him as a threat because... Like, I mean, do Nigeria government see Mazin and the Kano as a threat? I don't know what they are afraid of. I don't know what they are afraid of. If you obey the rule of law, you don't think of a threat or no threat. After all, you have all the machinery of government. You have all the machinery for power and force. He's an individual. And people believe him. And people... You know, expect him. He's leading a lot of people, and if he's in in the in the uh, southeast, things would have been better. There are many things people are doing without his own, without his own, you know, you know, you know, you know agreement. Release him first, and then you can see what will happen next. But you're still keeping him. And it is not good. That's why I talk about the rule of law. Are you in support of the division of Nigeria? For me, I, I, am, I am not for or against. What is essential is how can human beings anywhere live like human beings, die like human beings? Division is not the problem. See what happened in Britain. You see that the, 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 the Labour Party won a landslide victory, which is against showing that the Brexit was not right for them. And now they are trying to make amends. See, see the, the new Prime Minister going to meet other components of Great Britain, assuring them because they also wanted to go out. Like you know, you know Scotland, Welsh, well, you know, you know the Welsh Republic, and 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 then all that. But you see, it is not division that is the problem. But what is it? Recognizing yourself as a human being and being treated like a human being. A all these of... divisions are, are mere configuration. But what is essential is the feeling or the right of a human being to live like a human being anywhere with all the rights with all the all the uh, rights they are given but those rights are not respected in our country but sir, the, 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 the Igbo community or the Igbo association are they in any way or are they in any way like showing an effort to make sure that Mazen and the Kano is being released yes the, the southeast governors have approached him the president, the uh, legislators, both in the Senate and this in, in the Southeast and others, over 80 of them, have uh, ap approached him that he should release him. But sir, if Mazin Nadekano now were to be released, are you sure that he will still continue with the bravery agitation? He has shown some responsibility of late that the with him the the division is not the problem but it's giving right to whom right is due okay, sir. so that is to round up this program do you have any advice for the viewers uh, the advice for the viewers is that if you're a nigerian 
we are all holding Nigerian passports as of now. Let us do things that will exonerate our country. And let the youth come together as they did in Kenya. Nobody will give you your country except you want it. And you must do things positively to take it. Okay. If there's an election today in, in Kenya, Ruto will, you know, will, will be removed because of the youth who form 60%. And the same thing in, in, in Nigeria. You must start. Don't allow your oldies to talk about tribe, to talk about religion, to talk about all this mundial, you know, you know mundane uh, uh, issues. Come together, you have your country for you. Country first. It's okay, okay. sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Okay, thank, thank you, Dad. Thank, thank you very much.